16 and minus 4 outside your door, a little bit chilly with the wind chill. Well, you know, there's few better places to demonstrate our connection with our natural world than Fort White Alive. And here to give us a few ideas about how they can uh, make us a little bit greener when it comes to today, Earth Day, we've got Jordy Watson joining us from Fort White Alive. The first thing we're going to talk about is household waste. And you yeah. knocked my socks off when you told us how much waste Canadians generate. Yeah, what am I responsible exactly. for? You are producing at least one ton a year. That's, it sounds dumb, but that's a ton. It's a lot of waste, exactly. And so all those things end up in our landfills. Um, methane gas, which is which comes from any kind of organic waste, so we're talking about your fruits and vegetables and things, right. um, is actually one of the most potent or strongest greenhouse gases. So it goes up into our atmosphere, and it's actually one of the best ones at keeping that heat in here, which is causing some of our problems. There you go. If, mm -hmm. you're, if you're ticked off that uh, you're not wearing shorts and open-toed shoes yet, that's right. maybe composting is a big part of what you can do to help Mother Nature. And, and that's a great example. You guys use vermilion composting. Yep, vermicomposting, comp exactly. And so what we've got, uh, we have a few different compost things. So you can do composting outside in the yard, you know, like you mentioned, you had yours at home. Yep. So you can have that little thing outside. But then it David Suzuki. Exactly. But then we, there's also uh, vermicomposting and that's working with the worms. So, so the these worms, little guys eat up the garbage. They and eat it up. Turn it into good dirt. They sure do. You can use that in your garden. You can use it at home in uh, your potted plants, all sorts of places. Uh, and for people who uh, maybe have a condo or an apartment, there's, no, there's no stink. It's much, much smaller. That's right. And the Green Action Center is a great place for um, resources on that sort of thing. So get in touch with them if you're looking for some more information on vermicomposting. That's a great point. Even yep. if I don't want worms in my house. That's right. And you may not. You might not. The, the daily shower can make a big difference when it comes it to does. greening up the world. Yeah. So if you're looking to reduce your carbon footprint, it's hard to imagine when we live here in Manitoba that, you know, water is something we need to be concerned about because it's everywhere, right? Yes. Especially right now. Yes. But um, reducing your, uh, your, your water use at home is easy and it's going to help also reduce your energy use. So just do a couple little things That's like this. That's right. Just a few heads. different things. So we have a low flow shower head. We have some faucet aerators that you can use. And uh, one thing that we do with our Slow the Flow program that we run in conjunction with the City of Winnipeg is a shower timer. So really? Yeah, kids that participate in the program, we give them a shower timer. You guys can have a contest at home, see who can take the shortest time or shortest uh, shower, and uh, give some prizes at home. That, that, you should probably let the sand go all the way. Yeah, it? that's right. That's right. At but least that, be fair about it. Yeah, but that's part of how what you're doing is trying to encourage, uh, especially young people, to encourage young using. people. Yeah, and it's not just how much water you're using, but it's also what you're putting down that drain too, because. You know, water use is one thing, but we want to make sure that we have clean water that's going to be available for us. That's a great point. So, thinking about that. Feeding birds, cute, they sing, they're nice, they're beautiful, but what does this do when it comes to helping the environment? Well, you know what? You want to make sure that when you're thinking about reducing your carbon footprint that you're taking it everywhere. So it's not just inside, take it outside, do it in the yard too. So, get some birds out there. You can get a little bird feeder, that's nice and easy. Planting native species as well. Uh, we have a program at Fort White called the Nature Scape Program where we encourage people to increase the biodiversity in their backyards, you know, have an area where the animals can eat, have yeah. a place where they can get some water. And by planting native species, then they often require less sort of fertilization, they require less water, so you're saving in that area too. Cool. We're going to continue our conversation about uh, some of the lots of different ways that you can green up your environment and do some good things with some help from Fort White Alive. And we're also going to talk about the benefits of getting your kids out and enjoying nature. That's right. We got that and more coming up on Earth Day here on BT.